All right, so we're putting a Pico. It's a negative pressure. It's a portable windbag system. Um, this is the Pico. Now I've pre-cut these in half to make it easier to use. I'll show you why in a minute. This is the Pico device itself. It does have adhesives. Um, so you see, I'm gonna pull it like that. Now this is the sticky side. This actually is okay to go onto the patient's skin. It's not a problem. So what I'm gonna do, if you do is spread your fingers like this. Okay. And I call this the taco technique. And what I do, I very carefully remove this sticky layer up here. touch see how that white touches okay like that so you want the the sticky part you see how that's it sticks like a, just like a taco and as long as you have these adhesive parts down and you see I put benzoin that's the brown stuff it's not blood there's no blood there okay now if we connect it which we're going to connect it right now we may have to get new batteries but if you press the orange button if it turns green then it's good now you can see and he can probably feel it suctioning you mm -hmm. feel the suctioning mm -hmm. now we can help it out by pinching the ends like this okay you feel it it's sucking yeah yeah usually the patients they feel the, the pressure and now you can literally you can see it it's getting hard yeah and that is when it's hard and so you can see if you touch it it's actually hard compared to where it was before now that occasional vibration is normal now, then the last step is when we have to sandwich it. So what we do is you go like this. You want to have like about 50%. There's extra ounces, okay. So there's a one and a two. So there's a one here. You take the two ones off and then you put them together. Again, it's like 50%, right? So you see how that's like about 50% overlap. And what I do is then I pinch them together. Okay. So I get a good, a nice seal. And again, we're farther enough away from his, so his finger is down here. So, uh, you know, when I'm squeezing, I'm not hurting him. And then what you do is you take and you very gently peel off number two. You see, just like that. See? So now it's sealed on the top. And then we repeat the same thing on the, on the long ways. I tend to use the whole thing. So on this one, I tend to use the whole one like that. But it's the same technique. You take off the one that says one and you overlap it like 50%. Right, and then you take off this one, take off this one, and then you just very gently pinch them together. And we're far enough away from his finger that we're not hurting his finger. And that's really the key that I found is that, you know, you don't want to do this over, I mean, we replanted his finger and we reconnected the nerves. So if you try to do this directly over the fingertip, then, you're gonna have the patient complaining, but he's fine, he's not, it's not hurting him. Then you just very gently, you, know, you see, that's the number two that comes off. See, that's number two, that comes off. 
not a seal. And then we've got two more. And this is the trickiest one. So this one, what you want to do is you want to get it between. You know, it's it's easier to replant a thumb than it is to replant a ring finger, unfortunately. So. Luckily, I have experienced doing a lot of replants. So but these are the hardest ones because they're in between fingers. So you gotta you gotta deal with the web space, right? So the problem with the web space is it's uh, it can be challenging to get a seal. What you gotta do is, and sometimes it's not it's not comfortable at this point. You gotta really push the patients, and that can sometimes be uncomfortable for them. It's usually a brief discomfort, and sometimes I have to squeeze it pretty firm. And then that should be the end of the discomfort. I shouldn't have any any problems with that. Okay, so that is the Pico. You can see it's functioning. Green light is on. If it was not functioning, then the orange light would be on. If the battery is dead, then the red light goes on. And that's how he knows if the batteries go dead, then you can just change these to the batteries right in here. That's the battery compartment. So. That's it.